Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on algebraic proof and proof by contradiction. Here is the exam question. Part A, prove using algebra when P and Q are consecutive even integers, Q cubed minus P cubed is a multiple of 8. Part B, use proof by contradiction to show that log base 2 of 5 is irrational. Please pause the video, have a go at part A and B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So we're going to let p equal an even integer. Now an even integer is of the form 2n. So p is equal to n. Now q is the next even integer because p and q are consecutive even integers. So q would be 2n plus 2. Right? So where n is an integer. Now what we must show is that q cubed minus p cubed is a multiple of 8. So let's work out the expression for q cubed minus p cubed. This must equal 2n plus 2 in bracket cubed minus 2n cubed. We can open this up into three brackets. So we've got 2n plus 2, 2n plus 2, 2n plus 2. Take away 2 cubed is 8, n cubed is just n cubed. We must expand these three brackets. So I'll start off by expanding these double brackets here. So I've got 4n squared, 4n, 4n, that is 8n, added together, and then plus 4. Take away 8n cubed. Now we're going to expand this bracket with this bracket here. So we start off with a 2n expanded with 1, 2, 3 terms. We've got 8n cubed plus 16n squared plus 8n. Now we're going to expand the positive 2 with 1, 2, 3 terms. So we've got 8n squared plus 16n plus 8. Take away the 8n cubed. We're going to simplify this expression. So 8n cubed will cancel with a minus 8n cubed. 16n squared plus 8n squared is 24n squared. Um, 8n plus 16n is 24n plus the 8. Right, so we must show that this expression is a multiple of 8. To do this, we must take out a factor of 8. So if I take out a factor of 8 inside the bracket, ladies and gents, I'll get 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. That there is a multiple of 8. Now to get the final mark, I'm going to write a proper conclusion. Hence, if P and Q are consecutive, even integers, then Q cubed minus P cubed is a multiple of 8. End of proof. Let's move on to part B. Use proof by contradiction to show that log base 2 of 5 is irrational. We must start off with the negation statement. So assume, assume that log base 2 of 5 is rational. The negation of irrational is rational. This implies that log base 2 of 5 is equal a over b. Where a and b are integers, b is not equal to 0. Right, now we can rewrite this using exponential form. So we've got base 2, we can raise it to the power a over b, and we can set it equal to what we have inside the logarithm, which is 5. So I must continue with the proof until I arrive at a contradiction. Okay, now what I can do on both sides <coughs> is apply power b. So if I do this, I get 2 to the power a over b times b is equal 5 to the power b. So a over b times b is just 2. The power now is a equal 5 to the power b. Over here, we've got a contradiction. Because 2 to the power a is even for any integer a, and we know that 5 to the power b 
is odd for any uh, integer b. So we cannot have 2 to the power a equal 5 to the power b. That is nonsense. It doesn't make sense. So 2 to the power a is not equal 5 to the power b. So that is our contradiction. Now we can write a conclusion, and that conclusion is that the original statement is correct. Log base 2 of 5 is irrational. Hence, log base 2 of 5 is irrational. End of proof. That there, ladies and gents, completes this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on algebraic proof and proof by contradiction. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.